1970s wristband and uh, headband. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to another episode of Rock Pop Superheroes. I'm your ringmaster and host, Rock Blackwell. And today, we're gonna pop on Luke Cage, aka Power Man. Netflix just snuck in and dropped us trailer number three for Luke Cage. With all 13 episodes ready to drop soon, Netflix is starting to ramp up their advertising campaign. A few weeks ago, we got the long trailer that gave us the tone and kind of how everything is gonna be going in the world of Luke Cage, which has already been built by the Netflix Marvel Cinematic Universe of Daredevils Season 1 and 2 as well as Jessica Jones. But with Luke Cage, even though it's the same tone, we're moving to a different part of the city, which is Harlem. There's this feel of hip-hop meets 1970s, which is where the creation of Power Man Luke Cage came into be. We see that same tone in this trailer. It's pretty cool, not, not too much. It looks like it's maybe from the first episode or maybe the first couple of episodes. It goes into a boxing gym looking for what appears to be a mob boss. Some henchmen come up, they try to do their physical thing, he shirks them off, then they bring out their guns and they start shooting. Bullets are popping off of him everywhere, hitting all these other things in the gym. He says something to the effect of, I guess you guys haven't heard about me. It's interesting is that he goes on to say, I'm tired of having to buy new shirts. That's where I want to focus today. Not the fact that he has a new shirt, but I'm wondering if this is kind of a, a glimpse into the fact that they're going to put him in a costume. If you remember in Daredevil season one, he came out just as the man in black. In the last trailer that they showed, we saw Luke Cage getting up out of being experimented on, and that was the closest thing we saw to the 1970s wristband and uh, headband. In later iterations of Luke Cage, he's always wearing the yellow shirt and he's got chains. What I wonder is, if by the end of this season, if he's going to hook up with the guy who does Daredevil's Teflon uniform that stops him from getting shot. Not that Luke Cage can't handle being shot, but because this is a way he doesn't have to keep replacing his regular clothes and when he goes into battle, he's got a uniform. With that, I'm wondering also what kind of offensive weapons he's going to come up with. Is it going to be the chain? As a matter of fact, that's a good question. What do you guys think he's going to come up with? Sure, he can use his hands and everything, but that means that people have got to be in close quarters for him to beat them up. What if they go to the chain and use it so that as they're trying to get away, he can catch them? I'm definitely looking forward to more cameos in this, as Luke Cage himself has already been a part of the larger cinematic universe. We've got the Night Nurse. We already know she's going to make an appearance. I'm assuming Jessica Jones is going to make an appearance because of their past relationship, both on the show and in the comics. And I've got to believe that Danny Rand Iron Fist is going to make his debut in Luke Cage as well, just as Luke Cage made his debut in Jessica Jones. All in all, this is shaping up really well for the whole Hell's Kitchen, Harlem, Defenders coming against Kingpin, The Hand, or whoever that they're going to put as the big bad for all of the Defenders to take on in the Netflix series. So be sure to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to, what you think is going to happen. Will he get a uniform? Will he use a chain? What's going to happen? Who's going to pop up? As always, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Rock Pops. Until next time, keep it popping. Peace.